Life is a game, just like all other games. The key components of a game are a set of rules, challenges, interactions, and a goal, all of which exists in life. However, there are two sets of people who may never win in this game of life. Those who do not yet realize that life is a game, and those who realize that it is a game but do not follow the right rules, because they assume that their opponent is the next man. Here is a list of 13 of life's rules which you must apply to win at life. If you are an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel which was designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. Mind what you say. The words you speak are like seeds. When spoken forth, they are planted into the universe and in due time, they will spring up as giant trees of delicious fruits or thorns. Your words are of great power. This is why Joyce Meyer says, words are containers of power and you choose what kind of power they carry. Your words have the power to either make or mar you. As such, you must be mindful of the words you speak about yourself because the universe listens, as well as the words you speak to others because they can either open a door for you or shut the door against you. 2. Face your fears. Everyone has phobias and fears. Often these fears tend to be a limitation. In most circumstances, when faced with these tough fears, the easiest way is to turn around and run from them. But then, turning around and searching for safety and comfort means accepting that you are weak and having surrendered to defeat. You know what is said about losers. They are quitters who give in to defeat even before trying. Hence, in order to win at life, you must face your fears. Even if you get knocked down, you get on your feet, dust yourself and try again. Never stop trying because that is what winners do. 3. Stay humble, kill pride. Pride, they say, comes before a fall. No matter how highly placed you are, you must always remember where you are coming from and where you are headed. Where you are coming from reminds you that there are still people in that lower position who wish to be where you are now. And where you are going to reminds you that there are people ahead of you and there is still so much to achieve. These two things ought to make you understand that nothing in life lasts forever. And as such, you have to be humble because there is no guarantee that you will keep being whoever you are now. As often as possible, Meditate on these words of Zig Ziglar. Humility will open more doors than arrogance ever will. 4. Don't throw stones in the marketplace. An anonymous person once said, Never throw stones in the marketplace. You just might hit one of your own. That sentence is a powerful one and only if you understand what it means. Whatever actions we carry out in life is like throwing a ball to a hard wall. It bounces back, either straight to our faces or someone close to us or behind us. This means that in whatever you do, you must be cautious because all your actions are connected back to you, either directly or indirectly. Thus, if you must win, you must learn to throw good and fruitful balls, so that whenever they bounce back, you will have no regrets. 5. Be honest in your dealings. Good name is better than riches, says the wise King Solomon of old. One big mistake that many people make is daunting their name and reputation because of a petty immediate gratification. Man is referred to as a social animal which deals daily with his surrounding, including the people around. Doing things that will make people lose their trust in you is a sure way to crisis in life. In all you do, endeavor to be honest and speak the truth. It may cause you to have so many haters, but in the long run, you will surely reap the reward of honesty. William Shakespeare concluded in All is Well That Ends Well by saying, No legacy is as rich as honesty. 6. Be yourself at all times. Wherever you are and in whatever you do, you must always learn to be yourself. Pretense and hypocrisy will get you nowhere in life. Rather, it will swallow up the uniqueness in you and cause you to be a photocopy of someone else. No matter how well packaged the photocopy is, the original is always the original. It is needful to have mentors and role models, but never aspire to be them. Instead, learn from them while you seek to be a better you. 7. Develop a win-win mindset The unhealthy competition going on around us today in schools, organizations, and even religious gatherings are the reason behind people's belief in the win-loss mindset. Having a win-loss mindset is an open door for envy, pride, arrogance, and even hatred. To win at life, your mentality ought to be programmed that whatever the outcome, you either win the proposed reward or you win in lessons and experiences. 8. Collaborate For you to win in life, you must learn to change your view about life from the aspect of independence to the point of interdependence. This is the understanding of the word Ubuntu. The story goes that in an African village, a visiting anthropologist challenged a group of children to compete for a basket of sweets. The one who gets to the basket first has all the sweets. However, these children held hands and ran together towards the basket and they shared all the sweets together. 
The perplexed anthropologist asked them why they did so. They replied, Ubuntu, which means, I am because we are. The Ubuntu principle translates in a belief in the universal bond of sharing that connects all of humanity. 9. Go for knowledge. Ignorance kills. Many people stick to the notion that ignorance is bliss. Well, I guess so, but this is true only for those who are non-existent in this world. For you who are living, ignorance can never be bliss. Your lack of knowledge about an action does not stop it from taking place. Instead, it leaves you in a state of vulnerability. For you to win at life, you must aspire to acquire knowledge at all times. 10. Be dedicated to a course. Going through life without a purpose is not living at all. To win at life, you ought to discover a course which you are passionate about and be dedicated to it. Just like Nelson Mandela fought against appetite, Martin Luther King Jr. was dedicated to the fight against racism. You must deploy your resources into a particular course to live a life of purpose and to win at life even after your demise. 11. Be proactive. The concept of proactive has to do with doing what you are supposed to do when it is important and not urgent. Instead of waiting for it to become urgent first, do it now. If you can learn to, to some extent, pattern your activities and do them before there is an immediate need, which may lead to panic, then you will continually win at life. In the words of Oprah Winfrey, doing the best at this moment puts you in the best place for the next moment. 12. Never look down on anyone. Many a times, when you are elevated to a higher position, there exists the temptation to look down on those who are subordinates. However, if you desire to win in life, you must never look at anyone with disdain. If you must succeed in life, you must accord respect to all. Islam cleric Ismail Menk once asserted that, always have your feet firmly planted on the ground and stay humble. Don't look down on others no matter how less well off they appear. Remember, the one you look down on today might be the person you might have to look up to tomorrow. Such is life. 13. Always be thankful. A bunch of folks have the opinion that happiness is free. However, this is not right. There is only one key to happiness and it is having little and being content with what you have. Contentment means being thankful for your small blessings while aspiring to get better ones. Being thankful is a habit that only a few people have been able to master. Nevertheless, a thankful heart is a happy heart and a happy heart is a heart that wins at all times. A heart that is grateful in every circumstance, even in difficulty thus. If you want to win, you must always be thankful. If you have thought that your opponents are those around you, I trust you now see that they are not. Your biggest opponents are inside of you. They manifest themselves as limiting beliefs, fears, bad attitude, negative thoughts and the likes of them. If you must win at life, you must understand that life is a game and apply the right strategies. And just before you go, watch other videos on YouTube. If you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. We love you.